So Jess, how are you feeling? Um, yeah, really good. Um, finished training with West Ham on Friday um, and feeling refreshed and just ready to go. You're kind of in a different position in that the Championship players had a few weeks there because their season ended a little bit earlier whereas mm -hmm. you're coming in straight off the back of the season. Is that good for you in terms of just kind of rolling into camp and then you get to have your break? Yeah, I think personally for me and my body, um, it doesn't really do too well with having too many days off. So it was nice finishing up on Friday, having Saturday off and then coming in yesterday. So um, yeah, like I said, I'm just ready to go and I'm so happy that we didn't finish last month. That wouldn't have done my body justice. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you feeling at the, after the end of the season, you know, getting back into that consistent game time again? Yeah, no, um, with my injury and t uh, stuff, it's been a long 17 months uh, on the go. But once that season finished, my focus turned to international football and I'm not finished yet, so I couldn't switch off. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm just ready to go now and uh, play these two games and then I can have my break after and then we'll go again. Was it like getting back into camp and being back with the whole squad? Yeah, the atmosphere and the vibe is, uh, it's always great in camp, um, seeing all the staff and all the girls. Uh, you know, you play against these girls weekly, so it's nice to come in and actually get to play with them. Yeah, and in terms of the Sweden games, what are you analysing ahead of those games? What are you looking at? What are you feeling about your own personal role? Yeah, um, I think to a lot of people, we're the underdogs going into this game. I mean, they're sixth in the world. We know they had a narrow defeat to France um, and a draw against England, so we we know how good they are, um, but I mean we're just going to focus on ourselves and our game plan and you know we've got a result against them before and I think this time we're going to be looking for even more than just a draw um, and we're at home too in the Aviva in front of a big crowd so let's hope the fans can rear us on too. And you're one of the younger players in the squad, what are the conversations like with Eileen Gleeson when it comes to your role and I suppose you look at you and like the other younger players, what you can bring to mm -hmm. this Irish team? Yeah, it feels weird you saying that. I feel like I've been around for years. <laughs> um, yeah, no, um, we don't really bring age into it too much. Um, like, you know, all the girls uh, make me feel as if I'm, you know, one of the experienced players. Um, and, you know, I've been around for quite a while now. So, uh, yeah, we've got even younger players than me, which is always nice to see. But, yeah, no, I think my role's just, and everyone else, it's just quite clear. Um, we're coming in here as the underdogs, um, but we're not going to take anything for granted. We're not going to take Sweden for granted. And like I said, we're just going to focus on ourselves, uh, get in and analyse Sweden. And I think, you know, our game plans can be just, you know, catch teams on counter attacks or quite similar to West Ham, where we'll sit in and catch them on the break. And I think we've done that against France and England quite a lot. I think we actually should have had more of them two games. Um, so, yeah, I think you'll see that a lot too during the game in the Aviva. And how do you find out your reason as a manager? Yeah, um, I think she's amazing. Um, I've absolutely loved working underneath her. You've got, you've got so much freedom, and there's like we've got a real game plan going into games now. And I don't know if you can see that from the outside. Um, and just the vibe of camp and everything is just it's it's amazing. And not just her, all the other staff too are an absolute joy to work with. Um, yeah, I absolutely love to staff her. You seem to be very happy and enjoying your football at the moment. Yeah. Um, the quick club uh, wasn't the finish that we would have wanted. Um, it's been quite upsetting and disappointing because we've had some really good results. If you've actually watched our games, we, we've had a lot of clear cut chances in games and we just haven't finished them. But um, look, for me personally, it's been great just to get onto the field and I'm fit and I'm healthy and that's all I am. That's all I want to be at the end of the day. So yeah, it's been it's been a great year for me personally. Thank you. Yes, um, we were chatting to you after the Wales game and, mm -hmm. and you did a really very articulately broke down what you thought went wrong mm. in that match for Ireland. Like, are you somebody that likes to think about the game on that level? Do you find yourself sort of analysing things in your own head maybe after the match? Or yeah, games? even training and games. As soon as that game is posted on Huddle where we'll go and watch our games, I'm, I'm on it like a lie. I'm doing individual clips. I think uh, it's quite important to also look at your game when you're not on the pitch only. It's important to analyse it off the pitch too. I think that's how you'll improve. Um, and we all do that, um, in fairness, on the team. Um, and I think it'll just help us all grow. But yeah, I'm a bit of a weirdo. I like to break the games down and look at them, uh, look at my clips one by one. So, yeah. It's it's, sorry, so it's a huddle, is it? It's something yeah. you have like, your own access and log into that? Yes, yeah, so like, the... all our trainings and games will be recorded with club and country and they'll all be uploaded. And then like we can edit them and make clips and whatnot. So, yeah, I think that helps me off the field a lot. Did you look back? 
from the, did you find yourself looking at the, the France and England games with that training? Like, have you started your badges? Um, yeah, I've only got the first one done, but, yeah, but you, you're starting yeah. already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so did, did you kind of watch the games with the coaches' eyes, so to speak? Or? Yeah, um, the France when I travelled with the team, I was in the stand with my hamstring and. Uh, it was nice to get a different perspective of the game because whether you're on the pitch or you're on the bench, it's quite different to being in the stands. Um, and I actually thought the girls played a really good game personally. I mean, we're up against one of the best in the world and I think you might have remembered the last few minutes of the game, we could have actually nicked something against them, which is really positive. Uh, and then the same with England too. I watched that at home with a few of the girls and I thought we should have got a lot um, out of the game. Um, but look, that's football. and. The same with club. If you don't take your chances, you're not you're not going to get a result. So yeah. Is, is it quite dem democratic in the sense? Like, would I mean, be happy for players to maybe offer opinions or encourage people? To yeah, no. Eileen's all for that, and all the other staff too that we have in our meetings. Um, she wants us to speak up a lot more, um, instead of just her voice all the time. So that's it's quite nice, and she will, um, take people's opinions on board, and she'll listen to what you have to say. Um, Friday, I think. This could be your first time playing at the Aviva, is that correct? That yeah. Really yeah, um, I think I just need to get over that um, that, that that final step now. Um, yeah, we've had two games there, the one against Northern Ireland, I was injured, I was in the stand watching it, um, and the atmosphere was unbelievable. Uh, I just wanted to be out on the pitch, and then the other one just gone um, against England with my hamstring. But um, like I said, I've been feeling fit this camp, and let's hope it can stay like that up until the game. So uh, you mentioned, Kathleen, that you know, you want to win these, you'd be looking mm -hmm. to win these games. Like, well, what do you think has to be done or what the team has to do to, to turn a narrow defeat into potentially a win? Because it sounds mm -hmm. simple, it's not. Yeah. Because like, you're trying to overturn the best teams in the world. Yeah, no, international football too, compared to club, is way harder because everyone's set up a lot more. Um, but... Look, like I said, against England we had clear-cut chances. I think against France we had that one chance too near the end. So I think it's just all about our decision-making when we're in the final third and just relaxing and being calm on the ball. I think sometimes you know we'll get in there and we'll just try to panic because we're up against one of the best teams in the world. So I think that will be the difference for us, uh, just relaxing and just calming down. But also, like we're underdogs going into this game, so I don't think we'll have a lot of pressure and we'll have the home fans behind us too. So that'll be nice too, and you know Sweden are coming coming to our home. So um, I hope we can make Aviva just an awful place for um, other national teams to come and play in, and Tala too. There was a big energy shift um, against England when Mike, Megan Campbell came on the pitch because of what she has. Now it's not a secret. Mm -hmm. You know it's been around for a long time, and I know you've only just come into camp, so you probably haven't really started to work mm -hmm. on things. But like. Is there potentially a plan for Megan if she plays on Friday, like just to maximise mm -hmm. that weapon? Because there's no team in the world that wants to face that throw-in or be in a scenario where you can't concede a throw-in mm -hmm. in your own half. Yeah, <laughs> no, she's yeah. I don't know how her shoulders can go that far back, but it's it's like a it's like a corner kick almost, you know. And we're quite big on set pieces. Like we've got a really tall team. We've got great deliverers and. Yeah, when she comes, if we don't know what will happen in the game, but um, yeah, that is something that Sweden will probably look at if Meg was to play or come on. Um, it's lethal, her throw in is, and I think even against Scotland too, when it went straight into the goal, like any little touch on it, and it can be a goal. So yeah, that'll, that, it's nice to have in your team. <laughs> Thanks, Jess.